Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk about the M2M MQ03-LTE and its wiring into the GE Interlogix Concord 4 system. Uh, very easy to get this thing connected. It's going to be six connections going back to the panel itself. Prior to doing this, you need to make sure that your panel is completely powered down, of course. Backup battery and power supply need to be removed prior to doing anything on this. Uh, once you're sure that this thing is powered down, then we can go ahead and get this device wired in. So the first thing you're going to notice when I put this in, in frame here is that I've already pre-wired this. This does not come pre-wired and uh, you will need to get two strips of wire. Uh, one 4 conductor and one 2 conductor. Um, 22 gauge, 20 gauge, 18 gauge, any of those should work perfectly fine. In this case, I'm using 22 gauge 4 conductor and 22 gauge 2 conductor. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the 4 conductor setup here. I've already pre-wired it as you can see. So the terminals we'll be wiring into are plus minus DAT1 and DAT2. So those stand for positive, negative, data1 and data2. So the first wire we'll go over here is the red wire. I've wired that to positive or plus. The black wire I've wired to minus or negative. My green wire I've wired to DAT1 or data1. And my white wire, or it could be yellow in your case for your four conductor, is going to DAT2 or data2. Once you've confirmed those wires, you're going to go ahead and move on to the next set, which is the tip and ring. This is where the two conductor set is going to go. So I've put the red wire to ring and I have put the black wire to tip. Once you've made those connections, you can go ahead and put this device over to the side. And we're going to work with the other ends here. So let's start with the four conductor strip. So on the four conductor strip, you can see I've already peeled mine back. So this is pretty much ready to rock in the panel here. So we're going to be going with the black wire to terminal number three here. Once you get it into terminal three, go ahead and tighten that down. And you're going to take the red wire and that red wire is going to go into terminal number four. And then go ahead and tighten that down. Once you've tightened that in place, you are going to be taking the green wire and that is going to be going to number five. And then your white or yellow wire will be going to terminal number six, like so. Once you have those connections secure and in place, you're going to move on to the two conductor set. Now remember, you're probably going to want to pull this wire through a punch out or through the side or, or some other way. Uh, I'm not doing it like that, I just wanted to show you guys quickly how to do it. If you do try to wire it the way I am, you won't be able to get the door closed back on the panel. So make sure to feed it through a, a punch out. Alright, so now the two wire setup that we have here. The red wire, that is going to be running to terminal number 28. So once you get it into 28, you go ahead and you tighten it down. And our black wire here, this is going to be going to terminal number 25. Once you have those two wires in place, this device is wired correctly to the panel and you're almost ready to go. Now we need to get our antenna connected, which you can see right here, just kind of screws on very, very easily. The antenna is cool because you can put it right on the side and it'll magnetize. So very, very neat little antenna. And the last thing that we need to do here is get our internet connected. As you can see, the ethernet port is right there. We're going to take our internet connection and plug it in like so. Once you have it connected, this device is ready to be powered on. And at that moment, you would be ready to give us a call and get this activated. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. Take care. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.